Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today we're back here at the Alton Towers Resort for our annual food vlog. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take you around all the different food outlets that they have on park. We're going to be showing you the menus and the prices. Now there's been some changes of course for this year. Some new outlets up in Forbidden Valley. We're also going to show you some of the new options that there is around the rest of the park and so much more. Now we did actually visit the roller coaster restaurant a couple of weeks ago uh, which is down in Forbidden Valley. It's open for theme park guests in the daytime and also open on an evening too when the park is closed and we had a lovely time didn't we the food in there was brilliant and the staff was fantastic it's about the full experience in there so make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it uh, but yes in this video we'll go around all the outlets have a look at the prices uh, have a look at the options and also as well we're going to talk a little bit about the price increases that we've seen across a lot of the outlets for this year um, because food has got quite expensive here at Alton Towers so come and join us for a bit of a tour round we're going to start down in X Sector. And here's the first outlet that we're going to be taking a look at. This is Just Chicken down here in X Sector. So let's go and have a look at the menus for 2024. Right then, so in this outlet you just order on the screen here and then they give you your order number and you pick it up over at the side. It's the quick service option. Premium chicken tenders, regular combo. 13.75 for regular just down there. 14.75 for large. So yeah, what do you actually get? Five 100% chicken breast tenders with regular fries and a regular soft drink. So yeah, we'll go through the prices that we've seen over the past couple of years in just a moment. But yeah, there's the prices for 2024. Let's have a look. So the family tender meal. Oh, oh. Jonas doesn't even show you a price. Is it not? It was, it was on the screen just, I think, on No, tip. I don't think it was. Is it not? No. Oh. It doesn't, so you've got to pick all of your sides and stuff before you know how much it is. Oh, there you go. So you get 16 tenders, wow. four fries and four soft drinks with that. Let me just quickly go through it and let's <laughs> see how much it is. Choose the drinks. There we go. 39.50. Now bear in mind if you do have a Platinum Annual Pass, you do get 20% discount. Yeah, that's for four meals just there. Go back. Family tender meal. Right, so burgers. So we've got three options. So we've got the classic ranch chicken, which is £12.50, £13.54 a large. So you get that as the meal just there. The prices. And then we have got the buffalo chicken sandwich combo, £13 for a regular and £14 for a large. And then what we have noticed is in regards to allergies, there is only like one option, um, which is the plant-based chicken regular combo. That's 13.25 for the regular and 14.25 for the large. But in regards to allergies, we feel like this is the only thing that they do offer. Yeah, um, there's not as many options, is there now? There's not gluten-free like, options or anything like that. Yeah, a few people have been saying about that this year. And um, there's kids options in here as well that you can see just there. Seven pound fifty for that. Not too bad for a kid's meal, I guess, but when we show you the price that this has been a couple of years ago, then you'll realise how much it's gone up in here. Fries, 350, onion rings, 375, mozzarella sticks, 375 as well. And you can just get an oh. orange or an apple, <laughs> 65 pence. That's your dessert just there. I wonder how many of them they sell. Interesting. And then just a regular drink, 425. 425 for a regular fountain beverage. Right, we'll head outside. We'll give you a bit of a comparison now to the past couple of years. Okay then, so we're down here by Oblivion now to talk about the previous prices and just some increases that we've seen. We've done these for a few years, haven't we now? Yeah, so what I've done is I've written everything down for prices over the past three years and we're going to compare to how it is now in 2024. So in Just Chicken last year, a regular tender meal was £10.25 and a large was £11.25, so we've seen quite a big increase there. Yeah, like over £4 for a large for the increase just there from last season. And then when you look back to 2021 a bonus meal was actually only eight pounds 75. wow and now it's nearly 15 pounds it's like a chicken burger 2021 for a meal was seven pounds 95. got a little uh, notebook here as well written everything down so obviously just chicken a chicken burger in 2021 for a meal was 7.95 2022 went up to eight pounds 75 2023 went up to 11 pounds 25 and now we're looking at nearly 14 pounds oh it's a lot it <laughs> 
Now there's a couple of reasons why we've seen these increases. The first one being the most obvious, and that's inflation. A lot of things have gone up in price these past few years, but the rate that food has gone up here has been a lot more than the inflation rate. The main reason why we've seen it is because Alton Towers and Merlin Entertainment swapped a couple of years ago to another company actually running their food operation. So um, to cut a long story short, they used to run it all internally, whereas now a company called Aramark uh, were brought in to run the food, and effectively they control the prices and we've seen things go up because of that haven't we? I think that's the thing when you look back through the previous years you can sort of see when Aramark took over because you saw that big increase whereas now it just keeps going up and up every year. Uh, the parks down south they're on the third year now of Aramark running the food up here at Alton Towers this is only the second year and already you can see them prices that have gone up huge amounts uh, compared to a couple of years ago. Now there is another outlet down here in X Sector, which is the donut factory right by the Smiler and Oblivion but this is actually closed today when we're filming this video so we can't give you any prices um, but you can get these donuts just down here Oreo with chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream it does look nice that yeah I can't give you a price on that today okay then so we've made our way up here onto Fountain Square quite a nice day now sun's coming out a little stroll around checking out the prices this year now we've shown you one of the quick service options just uh, where you go and order on a screen uh, and then of course you collect it and sit down here we've got woodcutters so with this one you can order at the bar or you can order on your phone and then it gets brought out to your table so yeah this is one of the restaurants that there is on the way down to dark forests yeah let's have a little look at the menu for this year we've had some nice meals in here over the years at woodcutters and the good thing is when the weather's great you can actually sit outside and dine as well you've got all the tables just over there along with quite a lot of seating on the inside for the rainy days and yeah we've just scanned the QR code on one of the tables we just brought up the menu just over here let's have a little look then what we got so what's quite interesting is when you look at some of these prices they're actually cheaper than going for a quick service option down at fried chicken like you can have scampi just here breaded scampi peas tartar sauce served with a side so you could have fries or maybe onion rings or something like that um 13.25 and i think that's too bad really no it's not all you've also got a sweet chili chicken wrap chicken goujons grated cheese and then that's also served with a side of your choice yeah so really i don't think them prices are too bad for a no, sit down not meal that's comparison with uh, quite a lot of other places outside of theme parks isn't it really got a lot of choice from the grill you get a cajun chicken flatbread there 14.50 surf and turf 18.25 chicken and rib combo 20 pounds full rack of barbecue ribs 21 pound 25 and here you can see the full description for all of those just there as well 10 hours rump steak 18.75 barbecue chicken stack 15.75 Top with chicken goujons, sounds good. Does sound good. Eight ounce gammon steak, 15.75. The good thing is to know on burgers, so really it works out better to just come into here and have a sit down meal with a burger than going to like just chicken. Yeah, it does. And obviously we're going to check out uh, the burger kitchen yeah. in a bit and the prices that there is there. Um, but yeah, quite interesting when you uh, look at these for a sit down meal. Not actually too bad, some of these prices. Uh, and at the end of the day, you're always going to pay more mm. when you're in a theme park, aren't you, you know? And there's some of your burgers, loaded chicken burger, 18.25. That's a bit more expensive for that one, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got some of your more standard burgers, 13.75, which isn't too bad. And you can see just there. And we've got okay. the non-gluten containing ingredients meals. Just here. Barbecue chicken breasts, 14.25. There's an eight-ounce gammon and pineapple, 15.75 there. Choice of chunky chips or jacket potato or another side. Much more choice here than in regards to just chicken where there was literally hardly any um, allergy meals. Yeah, which is good. Sweet potato, chip pea curry with rice, 12 pounds. And then down onto your kids options there now. These are the kids allergies. Vegan barbecue wrap, kids fish fingers, kids cheeseburger, and they're all priced at nine pounds. And you've got your vegan options. It's down there as well. 13.75 vegan curry and rice 12 pounds and the onion barge naan wrap 13.75 and you've got your under 600 calories meals so i think they're some of the ones we've already seen aren't they and then but it puts just them in that, the... that category just down there and then you can just come in and get sides yeah so you can see all your sides just down there as well 
quite a few different options. To be honest, I don't think the no, prices think are too bad in there. And then that's all the uh, that's all the menu. Of course, yeah. they do drinks in there as well as a full service bar. You fancy an alcoholic beverage in there as well. I've always quite liked woodcutters. We've had some good meals in there in the past, and uh, yeah, quite a lot of seating indoors and outside as well. But yeah, compared to some of the prices down at uh, Just Chicken, I think they're a lot more reasonable for what you're actually getting and in a more sit-down restaurant environment. So we're making our way now to the biggest quick service option here on the park and that is the Burger Kitchen. Now this is located just by the world of David Walliams, just off to the right hand side up there and Dark Forest is just around the corner as well. There actually used to be two other burger kitchens. One of them has now closed and been changed into something else in Forbidden Valley. New option for this year, which we're gonna show later in the vlog. Uh, but then also, uh, you've got one down in Mutiny Bay as well, which is normally closed on off-peak days, um, but is always open on weekends and the busier days. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a look at the menu here in the burger kitchen. But yeah, it's massive in here, lots of indoor seating, especially when the weather's not great. And there's a few little benches outside. It's one of them where you just order on a screen. And uh, in comparison again to a couple of years ago, this is another one where we see some pretty big increases. So let's go and have a look. I remember when it used to be lined up with tills all across the front there, and now it's all here on the screens. I do like the fact that, you know, the screens are in there. Oh, it it means you can uh, customize things and stuff easy, can't you, as well, on these. Signature range. So you've got the double cheeseburger just there, 14.25. Got 15.25 for a large. So that's the thing, some of the burgers are actually cheaper in woodcutters they just. They are, yeah. And obviously that's a, a sit down option instead of, I know this is, a, a, you know, you come and sit down and eat it, but as in, you know, table you order service, at your table, yeah, yeah which is um, quite nice really, order from the QR code. Classic bacon cheeseburger, 13.54, regular 14.50 for a large. And there's the full description of what you get just there. Now we've not actually had anything from in here this year, but I have seen some photos of some of the burgers. Uh, I think this is the, the worst offender, this cheeseburger. It's not very appetizing. Yeah, is it? yeah, very plain and uh, very plain. £12 for a regular, £13 for a large. And then again, the only plant-based burger that we have is this one. There's no other sort of vegetarian options or gluten-free options this is the only one that they've got for dietary requirements and going back a few years ago there used to be at least maybe three yeah um, was. three options. on each one yeah so there's not as uh, there's not only as many one now. now so 13.75 for the regular 14.75 for the large hello me lovelies hello. hello then we've got the chicken tender meal again 14.75 for a large 13.75 for a regular there yeah, so chicken tenders, again, same sort of pricing as down at uh, just chicken, isn't yes. it, really, that we can see on those. But again, the increase on that, as we'll uh, take a look at, yeah, is quite large. So they do do kids' meals. They're £7.50 for those as well. You get an apple. Yeah, <laughs> lovely apple. Then you can get some garden salads. I'm not too sure how much these are. You need to add the... Let's just do a standard salad. Seven seventy-five. It's funny how you have to put in the drink first, but I suppose it, maybe it yeah. varies depending on what drink you have, doesn't it? Because they do slushies in here as well. Then your the sides, fries, three fifty for a regular, three seventy-five for a large. Then you got your onion rings, three seventy-five. Mozzarella sticks, three seventy-five. Then we got fruit, a nice orange easy peeler or a seasoned <laughs> red apple. Lovely. And then of course you got your drinks, which are the same sort of prices as standard. But yeah, they got slushes in here. Strawberry slush, four seventy-five. Raspberry, four seventy-five as well. There we go. Right, we'll head outside to have a bit of a comparison because this is another interesting one. And here we go, back outside. Lovely afternoon now here at Alton Towers. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare this on a regular quarter pounder. <laughs> so what do we have here? So in 2021, a regular quarter pounder meal was 7 95 For the full meal? For the full meal. That included the burger, fries and a drink. 2022, it went to 8 75 So a pound. But surprisingly, in 2023, it went down to £8.50 from 8 75 Oh, okay. Whereas now it's just extortionate, isn't it? Yeah, and it's like a £12 now for that. Yeah, I know. I mean, I understand that stuff has to go up, but the issue is the quality of what you're getting just isn't really appealing. Like on the screens, it just, they just, just make it look better. Yeah, that's the thing. And we've seen, we've not ate here this year ourselves, um, but I've seen pictures and friends have, and what they've had didn't look very appealing with the cheeseburger. I know it's just that. how it's presented as well, like just in like little packets and stuff like that, not like in proper boxes and stuff either. That's the thing. Back in the day, you were paying less, but also the present presentation was a lot better as well wasn't it like theme boxes and stuff whereas now it just seems very basic the food prices are almost as scary as the Alton Towers dungeon 
So we're just making our way now down into Dart Forest to go to another one of the outlets, which is a little kind of takeout kiosk um, on the left-hand side, known as Forest Feast. Now, this isn't actually ran by Aramark. This has always been ran by another external company, uh, and they also own the one called Eastern Express down in Mutiny Bay as well. So we'll go over here and we'll uh, have a little look at the prices. And then, of course, you've got the same down in offer in Mutiny Bay. And here it is, Forest Feast, located conveniently right opposite Rita just over here and you've got a few different windows that you can order at, no screens or anything like that. Just go and order up at the counter itself. Just took a photo of the menu, so let's have a look. So you can get a shish kebab that is £9.50, chicken tikka kebab which is £9.50 and a doner kebab which is £9.50. They do offer a vegan alternative which is like potatoes and chickpeas that's £8 and a mixed wrap is £11. Now interesting with the jacket potatoes at Eastern Express, remember you don't get your annual pass discount, a jacket potato, a standard jacket potato with either cheese, beans, is £8.49. I've got a little tip for you. So if you go into Little Explorers in CBeebies, they do jacket potatoes in there. They're a couple of pounds cheaper and you do get your annual pass discount. So be sure to check that out later. Kids meals are £7.50. That's for chicken crunchies and chips. Um, and then you've got your side. A side of chips is £3.99 and you can add cheese for £1.50. I do think adding a little sprinkle of cheese for £1.50 is pretty expensive, but you have got that option there if you want to. <laughs> so we've seen the food options down at the back part of the park. We're going to make our way down towards CBeebies Land now and check out the Little Explorers restaurants in there. Just walking down here past the wonderful geese. George and George. <laughs> here they are. Hey. Loving the wildlife here at Alton Towers, oh. as always. Are you alright? You having a nice drink? Oh, <laughs> they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> oh, he is. And they do also have these little kiosks in certain places around the park. Uh, they don't do any hot food, but they do drinks, ice cream, slushies, coffees, all that kind of thing. Now you've got the Earl's Crossroads confectionery just here. There's another one a little bit further down towards Fountain Square. Yeah, you can get drinks on there, like 3 25 for drinks, Capri Sun 225, Monster 375, Smart Water 275, and then you get your fountain beverages just on there as well. So yeah, they're not like restaurants but, or major food outlets, but there's a few kiosks just in certain places around the park as we continue on here at Alton Towers. So we'll walk up past Spinball Wizard, no food down in that area, and head into CBeebies Lands. We're gradually making our way up through the rest of the park. We'll then go across through Towers Street, Mutiny Bay, and all the way up down to Forbidden Valley. There's also a lot of vending machines around the park as well if you just want to grab a quick snack. That's something that I've always really appreciated with Alton Towers. There's vending machines around, uh, some of the queue lines have got them, and queue line shops as well, such as Wicker Man. And uh, yeah, you can just get like a bottle of drinks because obviously we travel through a lot of theme parks and sometimes we really struggle abroad just to get a bottle of drink, don't we? You're so thirsty. <laughs> You're just like, I need a drink so bad, yeah. I'll get one. You can get the fountain beverages, which you, you can. You a bottle, because with a fountain one, you've just got to drink it straight away, haven't you? Yeah, you just want one in your bag, don't you? to get out after a ride and stuff. So that's yeah, something we've always really appreciated actually. Uh, just a simple thing really, we're just being able to get um, a bottle from like vending machines and uh, all the shops as well here at Alton Towers sell little treats as well, um, like little chocolate bars, crisps, and also as well, drinks. Right, see Beavis Line coming up on the left hand side. And this is the one that Charlotte eats at probably the most when we do have food here, isn't it? I really like Little Explorers. The food in there is really good. You get a really good portion as well. Let's go and check it out. Have a look at the menus for this year. And Little Explorers is located right in the heart of CBeebies Land. It's a little yellow building just up there. Little Explorers Lunchbox is the full name. Let's go and have a little look. So this is another quick service option, but instead of ordering at the screens, you actually order at the counter, and we'll give you your food, and then you can sit down either inside, where there's quite a lot of indoor seating, and then you've also got some covered outdoor seating as well that you can see just behind us. And around this part of the land, there's quite a few benches and things around anyway. So on the busier days, you bring your food just outside. Let's have a look at what there is then on the menu and the prices. Uh, starting off with pizzas, you can get a margarita, 1075, pepperoni, uh, 1075, and also ham and pineapple, also at the same price as well. Well, um, from the pizzas, pretty good in there as well um, for the pizzas, and they are like adult sizes they as are. well. 
Uh, and then of course you can get the jack potatoes um, in there as well, which is six pounds. Now uh, that's a couple of pounds cheaper than Eaton Express and Forest Feast, and you do get your twenty percent discount as well. So that's why you know Charlotte tends to come here quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, I love jacket potatoes, so I always come on park to get my jacket potatoes from here. Uh, and then they also do uh, a pasta option as well, and that's three pound fifty for kids, uh, and it's the same as jacket potatoes. They do a kids option as well, three pound fifty, and the adult portions um, they're six pounds, and it's the same with the pasta. Have you had the pasta in here? No, I've not, but it looks very nice. I have seen it. It's quite a good portion as well, which is good. You also do a kids' meal deal, which is £6, where you get to choose a main. So you can either have the half jacket potato or the kids' pasta, and then you can get a kids' snack, which is cucumber and carrot pot, fruit, pom bear crisps. I love pom bears. And me. Um, or popcorn, and then a kids' drink as well, which is water, a Capri Sun, or a flavoured milk, and that's £6 for the kids' meal deal. So to be honest, food in there, not too badly priced, and it's pretty good quality as well that's right in the heart of CBeebies land now we've just come out of CBeebies land straight here to the main entrance Towers Street and you've got a few different options here including corner coffee just off to the left hand side so we're going to have a little look at the menu in here this sign always makes me laugh just here because that is definitely not an Alton Towers roller coaster <laughs> there you go it's like a Vekoma boomerang or something just on there yeah we're going to have a little look we have sandwiches and a few other things in here some cakes as well and we've got some new donuts for this year so we're going to have a look at these so they've got like your selection of drinks and crisps and all that kind of stuff in here same prices that you'll find in the shops and at some of the other outlets but then you can get sandwiches in here 475 egg mayo tuna mayo cheese sandwich 475 again you do get your discount in here so not too bad i guess for the sandwiches i mean a little more expensive than if you're going to like a supermarket for a meal deal or something but um you're always going to pay more for certain things um, in a theme park you can get the uh toasties and things just here as well 550 three chili chicken wrap six pounds just there a few other options you got the baguettes just down there as well charge six pounds a few different options put more paninis down there at the bottom six pounds for the different paninis let's go and have a look at the cakes now we love project d donuts we've been having them for a few years and they're kind of a local company to us and uh yeah we've been having them for a long time and now alton towers are doing project d donuts as well uh, obviously quite a bit more expensive with them being in a theme park you've got like the birthday cake option there and the bad boy which is six pounds got the smiler there which is seven pound fifty with the logo on rock and roll over six pounds homer six pounds just there and the phalanx donut just down here 750 oblivion which is 750 there as well wow and then the mega donuts which are 25 pounds i mean look at that i mean you can split that you know into well however many as you want i mean we could probably share that between us couldn't yeah, we? i think ideally it's more for like four or six but i could so eat most of that uh, but there you go that's 25 pounds expensive i think you know with some of these i do like it with the vein effect and stuff on there but oh seven pound fifty for one donut even six pound that is expensive in fact we went shopping the other day at meadow hall in sheffield and these exact same donuts were less than three pounds so yeah obviously they haven't got the theme park branding on but still like these ones up here um, um, so we're talking like double the price from them being here at Alton Towers. quid for a donut. Oh, oh, it's a lot. I mean, at least you can split it, but still, that is expensive. Cookies are three pound, lemon drizzle. Yeah, look at all these though. Ooh, pricey. And back outside there now, and we'll just have a little look at the hot drinks prices just here for you as well. So I'm just going to go through a few of them. So a cappuccino for a medium is £4.75, £5 for a large. Same for a latte, you can get an espresso small, £3, £3.25 for your medium. You've got your hot chocolates, which are £4.75 for a medium, £5 for a large. And for a tea, it's £3.25 for a medium and £3.75 for a large. And it's Costa Coffee that it they is. serve in there as well. It's always lovely and peaceful here on Tower Street in the afternoon. Once everyone's in the park, enjoying the rides, you come down here, it's much quieter. And at the end of the day, of course, everybody coming out. But yeah, it's nice and peaceful to sit here, relax, enjoy the music. And normally, I would enjoy a nice roll over hot dog. Now, I love a hot dog. In fact, it's my go-to when coming here to Alton Towers and pretty much any theme park. However, we have seen some pretty big price increases over at Tower Street Hot Dogs and just on hot dogs in general around the park. So we'll go and have a look now how much they are and then we'll give you a comparison because this one is probably the most shocking 
So the 2024 prices for hot dogs are £9.50 for one hot dog on its own, £8.75 for the vegan hot dog, and £3.50 for fries. Now, it's also worth pointing out, you can no longer get it as a meal option. Actually, at the start of this season, you can still buy it as a meal, uh, and that changed a couple of weeks into this year. Uh, and then we look back at the old prices. Uh, even from this year, we've seen things go up quite a bit from the start of the season. Well, look at this. We have a look into the history of the rollover hot dog at Holton Towers. So, in 2021, a rollover hot dog meal was £8.95. That's for a meal. That was for that, a meal. So that came with fries and a drink. £8.95. So in 2022, for the same thing, it came to £9.50. 2023, it was £10.45. Now 2024, you can't buy a meal. So if you wanted a hot dog, chips and a drink, it would cost you, hold on, £17.25. That is just extortionate. And we go back, what, three years? And it was what, yeah. sorry? So in 2021, it was £8.95. 2024, because they don't offer it as a meal and you've got to buy it all separately, it's £17.25. That is before discount <laughs> as well. And of course, £9.50 there um, for one hot dog now. And that isn't even a meal. That is just on its own. Even the seagulls aren't happy with that. £6.50. 2022, there was £6.50 for a single hot dog. And um, it's just, that's just extortionate. It, it's the meal price for me that's yeah. gone up. And that's shot up even since the start of the season. At Alton After Dark, I remember having a hot dog meal from here and it was still, yeah. it was about £11. And uh, now it's shot up. So if you want all them separately, over £17. £17.25. Oh, that is extortionate. <laughs> so that is why we tend to bring a lunchbox a lot of the time now, mainly because we wouldn't pay that no, for a hot dog. Um, that's more expensive. And in this, he doesn't go mad. That is more expensive than a lot of other theme parks. In in fact, it made some of the food at Walt Disney World um, look cheap, to be honest, compared to it. Um, yeah, I mean, that is shocking yes. for a hot dog. Like, nobody can justify that. That is extortionate pricing. It is expensive for a hot dog now. Uh, well, let's move on to Tower Street Donuts, which is right next door then. So for 10 donuts is £10. For five donuts is £8. One donut is £2.50. If you want any sauce, you can have either chocolate, strawberry or butterscotch sauce. They're 75 pence each. You can also have one scoop of ice cream, which is 3 25 Two scoops is £4. And one donut and ice cream is £4.25. So we've seen the hot dogs increase in price, but also the donuts as well quite. A bit. Here we go. So 2021, 10 donuts was £7. 2022, they went up to 7 75 2023 was 8 55 and now they are £10. Yeah, so again, in three years, um, like over three quid. Like really yeah. big increases all the time yeah isn't it? and that's a lot more than inflation that it's is like yeah. yeah and we also need to point out the donuts have been made smaller They're they not have as big as they used to be they are smaller but they are still delicious oh, i know I that i love the donuts they're always a classic at fireworks i'm just loving this little setup with the uh, yeah, no, the notepad I've got it all written down yeah we literally yeah, watched back last night our previous food vlogs just oh, to get it all you know everything down like um, original prices and everything and, and the evidence is there in the videos yeah, that, that's yeah. another reason why we've done these in the past it's to document them yeah. and you really get to see don't you then so I've got um, it all the Food prices um, but of course you do get your discount on them prices um, but yeah it is very expensive in terms of other options you can get an ice cream just over here it's three pound fifty for a whippy ice cream four pound if you want that with a flake you don't get discount. no discount over the ice cream van and this off to the left here chocolate and waffles as well so have a little look at that seven pound for a waffle just over there and you've got a few other options that you can have strawberry cup six pounds chocolate apple four pounds hello <laughs> Oh, cameo. Yeah, you don't get your discount over there. That's another one that's ran um, externally just off to the left hand side. But yeah, the hot dogs for me, I mean, I would not pay £9.50. I know we get the discount, but still, um, that is a lot of money for a hot dog. And if you're a family, I mean, them prices, uh, come on, Alton Towers, like, that, that's a lot of money. And I know it's different now when it comes to um, another company running the food operation and deciding the prices, uh, but surely, you know, Alton Towers has still got some say in that because yeah, that is a lot of money. That's a big increase for families, especially during a cost of living crisis. Down here now into Mutiny Bay, and you've got quite a few food options around here. Some repeated from other parts of the park, but we'll still show you the different options. There's another one of them kiosks just over there as well. That's Pirate Trees. Very handy actually having the kiosks around the park. There's a water refill station over there as well, don't forget. Um, you can bring your water bottle and you can fill it up free of charge around the park as well. So yeah, just here on the left hand side, waffles just over here. These are from uh, Waffle Meister, so have a little look at the prices for these. So you've got quite a few different choices just over here for waffles. 
a few different prices, £6.50 for those ones just there. And the same down at the bottom, Marshmallow Surprise. I had quite a few of these over the years. Again, these have uh, increased quite a lot in price. Um, yeah, I used to have these quite a lot. You got the classic there, which is just four twenty-five. And they're five twenty-five and five seventy-five, just off to the side. Waffles. And also, you can get your hot dogs just over there as well. Your nine pound fifty hot dogs are right next door to that. Nachos at seven seventy-five. With quite a few different options there for nachos. Now, of course, the classic rollover hot dog has been here at Alton Towers for a very long time. And of course, the price has shot up this year. We're nowhere near as much as the cost of these ones that we're going to show you now. So new for this year, you've also got um, the Sausage Man just over here. And yeah, we're going to have a look at the prices for the Sausage Man. So this is up by Wicker Man, Feed the Flames. We can see the prices from way back here. That's good. Uh, beef hot dog at £11.50. Chili beef hot dog, twelve fifty, and a jumbo smoked pork frankfurter, thirteen fifty. And I don't think they're meals, are they? They're literally no, individuals. So yeah, these are from the Sausage Man, um, which is we saw these come in at Chesterton, I believe, last year down south. They do a halal turkey hot dog, eleven fifty, a vegan hot dog for eleven fifty, and then a kids hot dog, which is eight fifty. And then there's some drinks as well. And that's Wicker Man Beyond and Bites. Yeah, a little refresh for this. Uh, I mean, for me, I could never justify it. Thirteen pound fifty for one of them hot dogs over there blimey what i find quite interesting with this is the placement i mean the rollovers are expensive not quite as much as the sausage man but it's literally right opposite so you get them ones there and then your normal hot dogs just over there so it's one of them isn't it really most people are just going to go for that you're not going to spend 11 pound 50 on a beef hot dog when you can just go over there and get one for 9.50 it doesn't make any sense the placement of how close these are together just doesn't make sense no no that's the thing now another option for drinks is the welcome inn just down here the nice little tavern in Mutiny Bay itself and right opposite Wicker Man as well lovely actually on a summer's day you can enjoy a pint down here full service bar at the welcome inn and of course you've got all the undercover seating around the corner in the courtyard as well also here in Mutiny Bay you've got the other burger kitchen this one's much smaller and this is just a little takeout option here outside. Uh, there's a bit of undercover seating around the corner, uh, but I recommend, especially if the weather's bad, you can grab your food from here and go and sit around in the courtyard just around the corner. But yeah, prices are exactly the same as what we saw up at the other location for Burger Kitchen. That's right here in the heart of Mutiny Bay. Some more repeat ones, donuts just over there. 10 for 10 pound now for the donuts. Oh, it's expensive. And then you've also got Eastern Express. So this is the other unit similar to Forest Feast. Same menu down here um, as what you can find up at Forest Feast in Dark Forest. But again, this one you don't get your annual pass discounts because it's not run by Aramark um, just over here. To be honest, this one uh, is always really popular um, just over here, isn't it, its location. This is also, I believe, your only place on part that offers halal meals as well, so bear that in mind. Yeah, there's some uh, halal options just here if you are looking for those. I mean, we did see the Sausage Man had a halal uh, hot dog as well, didn't we, just around the corner. This is like everything. Yeah, it is, yeah, just down here. So uh, Eastern Express, little grab and go just down here. And that's, of course, similar to what we uh, saw. I think the menu is pretty much the same as it is down at Forest Feast. Just maybe with a couple more different options down here too. Right then, we're going to make our way up now through Katanga Canyon, past the best sign on park. Look at that. That 90s nostalgia, I love it. So yes, we're going to make our way down here towards the pizza and pasta buffet. This is one that has gone up a lot over the past few years as well. Got a good comparison for you for this one. And of course, we'll update you for 2024. Main reason for filming this is just to kind of show you what there is if you come into the theme park this year and what there is food options wise, but also gives you a bit of an idea as well on how much it's increased the past few years. And then you can make your decision what you want to do. the pizza and pasta buffet i love the theming of this right down here by the rapids as well let's go and have a look around the corner and we'll show you the prices for 2024 bum, bum, bum. oh it smells so good when you walk here into katanga canyon and here's a look at the prices for the all you can eat buffet and also all you can drink as well yeah you do get your uh, fizzy drinks just down there included uh, adults is 21 pounds and a child is 12 pounds now in terms of other options in here of course you've got the pizza and pasta uh, they do also cater for some allergies don't they as well yeah so i've just been into 
find out, they do offer gluten-free pizzas. These are completely separate to any other pizzas that they've got and separately packaged. And you can have vegan cheese popped onto there. They said they can sort of work with any allergies that you do have. So if you are going in, to make sure to double check. We just thought we'd go and uh, check for you all because obviously it's a big thing, you know, um, with allergies and showing you all that as well. Uh, really important. You don't want to commit to paying to go in um, if you don't know what options there is for allergies so as well. So what you're best off doing is do double check with them when you go in and they'll be able to cater for your needs. Right then, let's have a little uh, compare them with the past, shall we? Right, so with 2021, we can't do that because 2021 pizza and pasta was sort of a takeout pizza place only. So this is from 2022, 2023. So 2022 pizza and pasta was 15 pounds. So that's two years ago, yep. it was 15 pounds for an adult. So that's yep. six pounds increase in two years. And then 2023, it was 17 pounds and five pence. I'm not too sure on the five pence. Yeah. And then obviously now it's 21 pounds. I can remember when I was younger and I used to come with my mom and dad, we used to pay like eight pounds for pizza. <laughs> it was, wasn't like, it? It was a bargain, we used to come in here all the time, whereas for me, 21 pound i know it's all you can eat but i am at a theme park i don't want to be eating loads and then be sick on the ride yeah the best option to be honest if you do want a pizza the only other option other yep. than here is see bb's land heading in there and you saw the prices earlier on down at little explorers right then we got a couple of outlets to see including ending on the new outlet for this year um, which used to be actually a burger kitchen but now it's something a little bit different um, down in forbidden valley but first we'll just have a little look at coach house confectionery uh, which is down in gloomy wood Oh, and here we are then in Gloomy Woods, the curse at Alton Manor, and here's Coach House Confectionery. So this opened last year. Here's a look at the 2024 menu. So here you've got lots of ice creams, the cursed cones, Green Spirit 550, Grim Reaper 550, Harley Quinn, Spectre's Hat 650, and then you've got all the soft serve down there at the bottom as well, which is 375 for a tub. What I like with here, it's all themed into the area as well at Coach House. You can see some of the other treats they've got just over there as well. I like the donut at the top out, it's got RIP oh, on. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let's have a little cute. closer like look at that. Looks lovely. We've also got some of the Project D donuts in here that we saw earlier on. Oh, that one's £8 a morning house one. There we go. With RIP on. Just there. That, that looks, looks nice. good though, doesn't it? And they've also got a nice selection of freak shakes just over here. Midnight Forest, Red Mist, Cookies and Scream, and Buried Alive. And they're priced at $7.75. Cupcakes are $4.25. The cake slice is £5. That one was so just. And then you've got the Coach House Cookie Spook Witch. $4.25 just over there. Nice outlet there, and I like how it's all themed in. And that is the good thing that we have seen with Aramark. There are some good things, and that is the fact they're trying a bit more themed food items isn't it's not it? It's like they've just put like a standard milkshake and it's got a theme to it and it's really good that people can have the photos with the milkshake and have all the manner in the background. I've not had one this year but they are delicious like from Coach House. Yeah really good. I like my milkshakes. Oh Doom and Sons nice little throw back there. And we're gonna make our way now down into Forbidden Valley. Hello! Because we've got another food outlet to see and the good news is this one's all themed into Forbidden Valley as well so let's go and have a look. The helicopter has landed here in Forbidden Valley. And we're going to go and check out this new food outlet. So this used to be a burger kitchen as well. There was three of them in the park, but now it's changed and it's all been themed in to the area which we are liking. Now this is the main eatery down here that you can go to apart from the roller coaster restaurants. And obviously we did cover that in our video last week on the channel. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already seen it. So we've got Donut Division, another place to get your donuts down here. Same prices, but of course it's all themed in a bit. And then we've got the Generator Refueling Company. So let's have a look at the menu. We've not actually ate here yet ourselves this year, but we have heard that the food's pretty good from here. Right then, let's have a look at the menu for the Generator Refueling Company. I'll put it up in big on the screen for you there. Um, yeah, because I find the font quite hard to read. But you've got chicken wings that are available. Three piece meal, £9.50. Three piece large is £10.50. Five piece meal, £11.50. And five piece large is £12.50. Now, um, it does say that it's a meal, so I'm not too sure what you get with it. Cause it doesn't actually say on there, does it? Um, it says chicken wings, but it doesn't say, you know, do you get drinks and a, and a side with that, I assume you do, but it doesn't actually say. Um, chicken strips, three piece meal, 11 95 uh, Three piece large, 12 95 Five piece, 13 95 and the five piece large, 14 95 That's basically the same menu as down in Just Chicken yeah, there, is. isn't it? 
Wing roulette is £15. Cider fries, regular £2.70, large £3.50. And then you got all your different sauces, hot or not. You have like Korean barbecue, sweet chili, um, buffalo. Sriracha. Yeah, a few different ones just up there. And then of course you got a selection of drinks as well. Just not the best font, is it, no, on that menu? Not. I find it really hard um, to, to read that there. But uh, there's a look at it. I guess the worst thing with this outlet is the fact it hasn't actually got any covered seating. So when it's raining like it is now, um, you're buying food, you got nowhere to really take it around here. What they could do with doing is putting a cover over this area just in front here because now he's absolutely throwing it down and yeah you don't really want to be sitting out eating your wings just over there in the rain do you? you're gonna get wet <laughs> wings if you're doing that <laughs> oh well there you go of course we've got another outlet just to see down here another coffee shop uh, so we'll check out that but i believe that'll be similar price to corner coffee and then of course roller coaster restaurant we'll just show you the location of that down here for those that aren't familiar with it So we did share a bit of an update on the channel yesterday with some new bits of theming and also an update on how the ride's running. So make sure you check out yesterday's vlog here on the channel if you haven't already seen it. And here it is, Ground Command Coffee Outpost. And this is the same as Corner Coffee down on Tower Street. <laughs> I just got dripped on by the monorail. Uh, yeah, literally. <laughs> it's been dripped all down my face by the monorail. And as we come towards the end of our food tour today, don't forget, a couple of weeks ago, we did also film a full merchandise tour of Alton Towers, where we went round all the different shops within the park. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already seen it. Now, in terms of the roller coaster restaurant, we did film a dedicated video from here just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and you can find that also here on Theme Park Worldwide. And we had a brilliant time. Uh, so this is open in the daytime for walk-ups, and then you can pre-book and go on an evening as well after the theme park closes because of its location here in Forbidden Valley. Uh, literally, they open up the gate at the side on an evening, and you can come down and go and enjoy it. And we had a lovely time. It was a fully themed experience in there, and I would definitely uh, recommend it based on the, the time that we had. So yeah, make sure you check that video out if you haven't already seen it. So that brings us to the end of our food tour for 2024 around the Alton Towers Resort, sharing with you all the prices and also the menus. We're really hoping that this is going to help you through. If you are coming to Alton Towers soon or later on in the year, at least you know prices before you do come. That's the thing, you know, it's just about helping you all out and then you can make your own decisions then. You know, what you think is too expensive, what you think is good value, and uh, ultimately just showing you all them different prices. As you have seen though, with the little comparisons that Charlotte put together, um, yeah, there has been quite a few increases, especially when you compare it to 2021. I know, you look back and you're like, oh my God, look how much the prices have gone up since then to now. Yeah, we were getting a bargain back then. And, and like I said earlier on in the vlog, you know, we have got to think of inflation, but mainly it's that change to our mark that we've seen not just here at Alton Towers, but across the Merlin theme parks. And we have seen them prices um, go up quite sharply. And for us, I'll be honest, we don't really buy that much food here at Alton Towers now. Uh, we normally bring our packed lunches and uh, we might buy the odd snack here and there. But for me, uh, the most shocking one is the £9.50 hot dogs. Uh, I cannot justify paying that for a hot dog, even getting my 20% discount for me uh, that is very expensive, expensive. and uh, you compare it to a lot of other theme parks now as well Blackpool Pleasure Beach we go to a lot a hot dog there the other day was like £4.50 um, you know we do a lot of traveling around the world we was in Walt Disney World in Florida back in February of course Florida is known for its high prices you can actually get a chicken tender meal um, out of Walt Disney World for about £10 it works out at when you convert it from dollars which is like £4 cheaper than here at Alton Towers we're seeing some big increases to food and uh, you know I think it needed us to film this just to really kind of show you what there is on offer, what the prices are like, and I do hope at some point in the future we do see some more changes. I'd like to hope so. I'd like to see the prices come down because they're just so expensive. Yeah. Like for like your average people who are coming on top of admission, it just adds up so much. Yeah, for like your average family who's coming here, family of four, you know, you're talking 50, 60 pounds yeah, just for yeah. everyone to eat and have lunch. And then if you're having two meals on a longer day, it is an extortionate amount of money. So hopefully it helps you out. And also hopefully it makes Alton Towers realise, you know, that some of these prices um, are extortionate and I just hope uh, that we can see some changes at some point in the future, fingers <laughs> crossed. Getting tripped on by the monorail again. Didn't learn our lesson there, did we? Uh, standing around beneath the monorail. Uh, well, of course, that wraps up our kind of annual vlog that we do here on the Towers with the food, the Royal Coaster restaurant, uh, the merchandise. Stay tuned soon for some general kind of park vlog going around, getting you all the updates. We'll have uh, more updates on queue times and all that kind of stuff. And as food and merchandise changes throughout the year, we'll bring them updates into our standard vlogs here on the channel as well. 
Oh, well, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you at Port Ventura.